Hi again, this is Steve with Jetters Northwest, and we're going to talk a bit more about jetting sinks and traps with smaller hoses. Uh, we did a series, a couple of videos on that earlier. You can go back to, and it's raised some questions, just people really want to visually see this stuff. So uh, we're going to go ahead and jet straight through a sink and then through a shower floor drain and go from there. Okay, we're ready to jet our sink here, and we've got to make two choices. Number one, we've got to choose a nozzle, and what we're going to talk about right this now is what hose should we choose? We really have three choices when it comes to doing these small size drains. We have here a typical eighth inch jetting hose with a polyurethane cover and a fiber inner braid. This is the least expensive and it's plenty flexible, but the trouble with going through a trap is you need to be able to push it. And this type hose tends to ball up like spaghetti when you push it. We're gonna set that aside and we're gonna focus on what I call trap jetting hoses. These hoses have a steel braid rather than fiber, which gives them some pushability. And they're still plenty flexible. There's the Ultra Flex stainless or the Bronze Flex. But with the steel braiding, this has a carbon steel inner braid with a polyurethane jacket. And the stainless has no exterior jacket, just the stainless steel, which makes it the absolute smallest as far as outside diameter. The greater benefit to these hoses is they actually are about 60% larger on the inside, so they will carry more flow from your larger jetters when you're working these indoor lines. So these are especially great for floor traps where you need a, a larger volume of water to really get some cleaning done. But for sake of doing this sink line, I'm just going to go ahead and set aside the stainless because we're all set up with the bronze flex. And let's do some jetting. Okay, now that we've chosen our hose, we've got to choose a nozzle. Over here we have an array of eighth inch nozzles. Now, this hose, even though it's a 3 16 which is the inside diameter, 0 0.1875, um, it does have an eighth inch end, 0.125. Now, I've experimented with all these heads, and I can tell you, obviously this big flusher head, which is you got a lot of you guys use, is not going to get through a sink trap. Uh, even some of these small ones, they just don't transverse the trap. Uh, we've got a couple of spinners here. This is a controlled speed grease hog and a higher speed two jet rotating nozzle. They're not going to get through the sink trap. Um, this larger button doesn't get through the trap. So let's give a shot with this smaller button head and then we'll show you the knuckle head, which is the real key to making this work. So I'll insert it. I've got a trigger gun on the floor. I'm just going to use it to start jetting. The hard part is when we hit the trap. Even though I got that nice little nozzle, I can loop my hose. I can run my trigger on and off. Try as I may, that button is just not going to get through that little inch and a half trap. I'll go ahead and pull it out. Take it off and we're going to switch to the knuckle head. This is also called a drop head and with these I recommend you get stainless steel because here's an example of a brass one. You can see the knuckles are gone. The brass is too soft and they break. A lot of guys complain about that, but if you get a stainless steel one, they're just much, much more durable. Putting this on hand tight. Again, normally I'd recommend that you snug that up with a channel lock or a wrench. We'll go ahead and insert, start jetting again. See, I've already buzzed right through the trap. And I'm into the sewer, all because of that knuckled leader on this nozzle. And because the hose is pushable, being that it's this trap hose, I can keep working it. I've got 75 feet of hose here on the floor. I could just keep going if I wanted to. Amazing that it'll just get right to that sink trap and just keep going. I'm also using a hand trigger here for flow control. I was using my feet a moment ago, but you can of course use your hands. Jetting, not jetting, jetting, not jetting. Pull this back up and show you how far in we went. A few feet. And that's the key to it, that knucklehead nozzle. Again, when you get one of these, make sure you get the stainless steel and not the brass. So I hope that helps you guys save some time not having to take apart a trap down below, not have to be on your knees so much, 
and be able to jet out some of those sink lines quickly. Again, this is Steve Jones with Jetters Northwest. Thanks so much for watching today. Check out more of our videos on our YouTube site. Just search Jetters Northwest and check out our website, jettersnorthwest.com. Thanks again and happy jetting. Thank you.